Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my crafting life catch up. I've got about a fortnight's worth of catch up to do, so I thought I'd share it with you. I've got finished objects, visit to the thrift shop, I went to crochet for cancer meeting, an acquisition, a few things to share with you. So let's get started. First of all, crochet for cancer, which was two weekends ago. Um, we celebrated our 12th year birthday, it's been going 12 years, and we had nice cake. I should put a photo of the cake at the end, and we got a little gift. We got this sunflower, it's on a little ring. I'm thinking of putting on a stitch marker with it, came in a nice little gauze bag with thank you for celebrating 12 years with us. It was a lovely day. I caught up with my friend Ulia. We stayed and had lunch, chatted. It was great. I really enjoy going when I make the effort to go. Um, so that was crochet for cancer. I have some finished objects. I'll share those with you. First of all, Bod had a palooza. I didn't do the last one and I'm not doing this week's. The last one was a Christmas hat for a child and this week's was a newsboy hat. But I did do the week before, but I've forgotten what it is. So I'll put a link to the tutorial in the description below. So if you like it, you can check it out. So it's a bag a day tutorial. It does have this rounded head bit. And I must admit, I went a bit further here, added more rows here, and put two rows of single crochet. Um, I made it a little slouchy because it was turning out to be quite big. I used Spotlight Super Saver print. I think it's called Autumn Colours. I do like the way it turned out because it looks a little different. But that was the one and only Bod Had a Palooza I've done. And I forgot to send a photo to Laura at Mad Meanies Crochet and Farming for it. But there you go. That's my first finished object I share with you. My second finished object is I have finished my sober granny blanket that I here it is 40 by 40 I put a border on it I did the border slightly different to what Krista had on her pattern because I, I needed to extend the size look I do have a photo of it at the end and I, um, that I took so you can see it in its full glory I'm really happy with it it is quite heavy it's made in um, Red Heart Aran, which is made in Australia, or was made in Australia, uh, by the Australian Yarn Company in, I've forgotten the colour name, I'm doing a hopeless, I think it's Parrot or something like that. It's a four weight, it's lovely and soft, and yeah, it's quite a heavy blanket. So that was my Sober Granny, blanket number two finished. Luck of the draw number nine blanket. I'm still working on that, but that's going to come to a close soon and I may have to keep going to get the size that I want it to be. So I'll just keep repeating the colours as they came out from week one until I get to the size I want. I'm also thinking about another blanket to start because I have some Lion Brown Pound of Love and I picked up acquisition I can't show you because I didn't bring it in lion brand bundle of love in a variegated color and I'm thinking to make a nice blanket but I don't know yet when I make one I'll let you know so they were my finished objects just two the blanket did take a while and the, the beanie didn't take that long but it took me a while to adapt it to the size I wanted I do have some other finished objects, but I want to show you what I found at the thrift store. So I went to the thrift store across the road from me, mainly to donate stuff, but I always have a look. And I found two brand new balls of Marvel 8 ply in black, a dollar each. No smell, brand new, maybe leaking a little, but yes. I know when I showed Reeves and Thing, they rolled their eyes and both said, I thought you were going to use up all your Marvel pie. I did say to them, black's a good colour. It's a good border for a blanket or, you know, break it for a blanket when I make a blanket with the rest of the yarn. They sort of looked at each other. 
but that I thought you know they're normally four dollars a ball and I around four dollars a ball and I got them for a dollar each so that was a bargain I also found some very old vintage cotton and I might need glasses for it Panda Regal four ply cotton I don't know when this was made the labels are very old no color on it I bought two in this light green and one in this pink the reason I bought these is this is the sort of cotton I use on my tea towel toppers it's ideal I've already used half of the first one of these and these were a dollar each and these can be upwards of four dollars to buy so they were a bargain too that was my visit to the thrift shop which leads me into my next finished object because I have signed up to do the November market which is in support, support of the Leukemia Foundation. I did it last year and I had the best sales ever since doing markets. And um, yes, I got an email when I was in Prague, I think, and would I like to put a stall in? And I thought, yes, and I paid my money. So that means I have to have tea towels with tea towel toppers because they've always been my number one seller. So I have been making... And there's the green I used, tea towels with tea towel toppers, the way I do it. I have three different price points that I do. And yeah, I can never seem to have enough of them. So hopefully, by the time the market comes around first week in November, I'll have made quite a few. This one says, love grows here. I quite like that. The way I do them is they... Either like that, fold it in half and they hang nicely. That's why a lot of people like them. Or, I'm trying to think, they're all like that. No, that one's folded like that in thirds. So yes, I have the three price points and I don't intend on putting them up yet. Although, these tea towels that I buy from a spotlight have gone up in price. But I still have quite a bit of old stock. So... Now, if you're interested in doing a tea towel topper my way, I have a demonstration video you can have a look at and have a go. They are popular. I've already got Doreen, Emma's mum, saying the teachers, 10 of the teachers at her school want them. Sometimes it feels like a bit of a production line. I do do them because they're my number one seller. They will always cover my costs. But I must admit, sometimes it's a chore to get the motivation to do them. I do sell a lot of them. And that's why I make them still. But this cotton I picked up at the charity shop will come in really handy. I was having trouble matching that tea towel with the cotton. And the pinks always come in handy. So that was my visit to the charity shop. So acquisition. Today... I picked up just before I came home some mail. I have been crocheting a lot and I needed to do some knitting to change the rhythm. My wrist was getting sore. I'll explain why. And I thought, well, I didn't have the size I wanted. You wouldn't dream of it. I've got every size, but not this one because it is a six millimeter, which is getting a bit um, up there for me. Usually four. four 4.55 is my top range of knitting needles. So I went on to Crafts. Crafts, what are they called? I'll look at the docket. Craft to you and found the size and the length of the circular fixed knitting needle I want. I checked out a lot of stores. Trust me, there were not many that had this 6mm in this length. So I'll just get the bag because I put it on the floor. So it was sort of taped and squished into this quite heavily. I did say to the girl, gee, they really went all out and packed in and crammed it in. But they did actually because they use one of those vacuum seal bags, which I can reuse. So I'll take the top off and open it up. So... The knitting needles, we'll take those out first. I haven't, sorry about the crinkling, it's half the fun. Oh, I could use that, that's fine. So I bought um, knitting, 
Knit Pro Zinger. Um, did I pay that much? I don't think I paid as much as what's on here. I think they might have had them on sale at the time, so I'll take that off. But there you go. I do prefer Shy Goose, but I could not find anywhere in Australia that had them in that size, and I didn't want to wait. So I don't mind Knit Pro, but yes, I can get back to my knitting. So what else did I buy? Well, signing up for the market in November, I do have a lot of things. But I've had a couple of people tell me I should be selling some plushy amigurumis. They're very popular. And I should try it. And I do have a lot of blanket yarn. And I do have some plushy yarn that I bought that are millions. And I don't really know what it is. So then I was chatting to Reeves. And he said, this is what you should make. Blah, blah, blah. And see how you go. And all the videos I watch on plushy yarn, a lot of people rave about Parfait Chunky, Premier Sh Parfait Chunky or Parfait Yarn. I wasn't going to buy any yarn, and in particular Premier, because I have my reasons, but I gave in. I figured if I'm sending, paying postage and it's one $10 postage for whatever I buy up to... I don't know, $200 and it's free postage, I decided I would get some Parfait Chunky to try. So, I have, it's got 120 metres, 131 yards in one ball, 100 gram ball, Premier Chunk tested and approved for harmful substances. And the Chunky is super bulky, six, which is actually feels quite thin compared to some of the mill ends I've got. It's beautiful and soft. So of course I bought purple eggplant. I bought two of these and then I bought two of peacock. The color, They have quite an extensive color range but they were out of stock out of a lot of them and I could see visualize what I would make with these. So I'm going to try out Parfait Chunky because where I live, sorry, I'll just put it back in the bag and put it down here in the box. Where I live, buying chenille, I don't really like chenille, but like buying um, plushy yarn or blanket yarn, I'm limited to what I can get. So far I've managed to get Millens and Moda Vera blanket yarn and that was it. And so you're limited to colours and the sort of thing you can make. It would be really nice to get some really nice quality plushy yarn without having to go overseas for it or get a local shop to buy it from overseas for me. But that's just the way it is. Far North Queensland, we are limited to what we can get. And yes, I will be trying out the Parfait Chunky and that's the reason I have been knitting because I did start making plushy things and they make my wrist hurt and so I can only do a bit at a time. I'll put together another video later when I've made a few things and tell you what Reeb's recommended and show you what I've made. Um, I won't have huge amounts, I, you know I watch some videos where they have absolutely everything in plushy yarn, all sorts of things. And no, I'm just going to have a little section at my market and see how they go and if they're popular. So, the other thing I have been up to. I joined a new make-along. Yes, I won't be a moment. Back. So basically, I was watching Gary from Urban Yarn and he did his full mood board um, make-along. I think it's called blendship where you blend friendships so you can pick a friend and you know you do a mood board I think that represents both of you or you could do a group of friends and do a mood board for that and then you pick a project in the colors and you make a project I think it closes November the 15th I will put a link to his video in the description below I have done his mood boards before. The last one I did I really enjoyed but I was very ambitious with the project. Therefore I've picked my friend 
my project is in this little bag and I've picked the colours. So I've gone with their favourite colour, my favourite colour, blended where we live and the colours we like. Now the project itself isn't huge or hard to do. However, there are a lot of bobble stitches in it. Hence, my wrist is sore and I'm having to take my time, which suits me because it's not a big project and I still have quite a time to finish it and I'm probably two thirds of the way through doing it. So, yes, it's all in here. I'm not going to show you the colours. It's a lovely bag that Barbara sent me. Thank you, Barbara. Hello. Um, and yes, when I finished it, I'll show you the project, but you'll have to go across to Gary, Gary from Urban Yarn to see my mood board and why I decided on this project. But I do enjoy doing them because it's different in the make long sense that I have to really think about it, putting the photos together in a mood board, what colors, you know, think about the person. And this one I have really enjoyed. I must admit, putting the mood board together, thinking about that person, the colors what they do and what I do yeah I've really I do enjoy his mood boards just for the fun of it so there you go I have joined another cow my not that I need to my plans until Christmas is I don't make a lot of Christmas items mainly because um, other than most of my friends want tea towels with toppers there's not a lot of difference I can make. I have been thinking about a, a different item for a group of four ladies that I give gifts to. I make, usually I make all the same or it's the same item in different colors and then I wrap them and they just pick one out when they get them. And I have been trying to think of that. I would really ideally like to make four of these but I don't think I could by Christmas. My wrist would be absolutely blah. So in between doing bobble stitches and plushy yarn, I have been knitting because it's a different technique and it rests my wrist. I was complaining last night my wrist was sore and Reeve said, you've been crocheting? And I went, oh, a little bit. He goes, what, four hours, five hours? He knows me so well. I said, yes, probably a little bit longer than I should have. Anyway, guys, that is my crochet catch up. Tell me if in the comments below if you make items as Christmas gifts and what do you recommend for Christmas gifts say for four ladies um, last year I I gave them um, face cloths with soap and most people know I don't like making dish cloths or face cloths with a nice soap um, the year before I did give them Christmas tea towels with tea towel toppers I've given them um, locally made lollies so yes Tell me what you, or sweets, whatever you want to call them, or candy. So, yeah, each year I try and come up with something a little different. I did think about, like, a wine cooler cover. Except I'm not sure they will drink. So, yes, a nice, something practical gift that I can make for four ladies. Let me know in the comments below what you recommend. I do know, I want to thank those subscribers who gave me advice on using plushy yarn when I made my Octo. It has been really helpful making these plushies. It has made a big difference. So thank you for letting me know and sharing your, you know, what you've discovered with me because I do appreciate it. it. It really has helped this time. And although my wrist hurts, not as much because probably the things you have told me, how to do things, the techniques have helped my wrist as well. So there you have it guys, that's all I've been doing the past fortnight besides working and yes, some home chores. Okay, until next time, stay safe, stay well, make sure you have one crafty day this week. Bye for now.